Hello beautiful people, it's Miss Psychic D here for another round of Spirit-led Psychic Insight and Guidance from this moment forth. Can't believe I'm about to say this, but Merry Christmas to you all. I do hope that you all find it within your heart to have a very, very Merry Christmas. I know it's a very tough for a lot of people, but please remember that you are loved very much well supported by spirit and the gang upstairs and that um, it has been an absolute joy and pleasure to set, share spirit's message with you over the last year i'd like to thank everyone who has supported my channel supported my social media pages all that sort of stuff you guys who have been long time likers have known even what i've gone through this year so it hasn't been an easy one but please know that spirit and i will always have your back we love you so much and um yeah we will continue to do anything that we can do to help you guys move forward so thank you to everyone who has once again liked and subscribed and shares my youtube videos i really really do appreciate it um if you would like to um leave a kind donation so i can help it will help me keep this channel going next year. You're more than welcome to do so. All the links are down below. If you'd like to book a reading to see what 2022 has in store for you, link is down below. If you'd like to join my Patreon channel, I've just commenced a refresher, Law of Attraction sort of mini course in there. So you can jump on in there. You get your weekly horoscopes in there as well, your month in advance videos. I will be doing what Spirit Show Me for 2022 in there over the next week or so but um yeah all the links are down below all the links are down below but for now i'm going to get straight into it and i'm sorry if you hear my dishwasher in the background <laughs> um i'm going to ask spirit to use all my senses safely securely and full protection of the mass conscious collective that is all you guys anyone who invests energy into this channel specifically something that they feel we need to know from this moment forth this information is going to be very general, so please just take what you need. If it doesn't fit, don't make it fit. I, um, I won't be doing lives on my Facebook page until maybe next year now because I'm working on other things. So make sure you come back and check back here each week to see what is coming up for you. So I'm just asking Spirit to... Uh, Give us something that we need right now. And I'm, I'm, I'm honestly feeling all the anxiety and that that's in the air. So it just takes me a minute to sort of coordinate that, as you will, with, with um, spirit energy. All right. So we got the first card you just saw them jump out. We got a fiery climax is approaching. So I would like to say kudos to everyone who is standing up in their power, who is sticking by their morals, beliefs and values and doing what's right for themselves as individuals and as a collective. I feel like shit is going to hit the fan real soon, <laughs> probably within the next two or three months. Shit is going to hit the fan. I feel like I feel like there's two bulls coming at each other and, they're, and, they're, and it's going to be like an interlock for um, a little bit. But um, don't be surprised. Don't be surprised if um, things get a little bit worse before they get better, so to speak. Please know that you and your loved ones are safe. Beautiful card to back that up. Please know that spirit has our back. As long as you stand in your morals and your integrity and you choose the best feeling thought that you can, I know that's very difficult. And when you hear someone say that's very patronizing because you're all going through your, you know, your own bullshit, so to speak, please know that a, cl a fiery climax is approaching. We need to stand our ground. We need to come together as one because we are all one anyway. Allow your faith and spirit to back us up right now. Please know that you are loved um, and you are safe. Even They just said, even if you can't physically be with your loved ones right now, um, really, really try to avoid the loss or the lack type feeling in that. I feel like it's going to change anyway, but we'll see. I feel like in June 2022, there's going to be massive changes. It's telling me cancer, so cancer is usually around the June period. I think this fiery climax is going to happen before then. A win-win outcome is forecast, so there is going to be a balance of the scales. Like I say, we have to 
probably get through this fiery climax. Um, there's a lot of awareness coming out now. There's a lot of people waking up. Um, the, the veils are lifting, so to speak. So we are going through this and I can feel it in my, in my core right now. You know, there's a lot of things that may not be affecting me personally, but for the mass conscious, I know it's affecting you guys. So please hold on to your faith, keep praying and know that you and your loved ones are safe because a win-win outcome is forecast. Here's that balance that's coming in. They, they said the same thing last week as well. There's a balancing of the scales. But at the moment, we've got the, the heads, the two bull heads coming in and, I, and they're locking it. So they're locking it like that. So we, they may become a bit of a deadlock soon or whether we're in it now. But a win-win outcome is forecast. So it's really, really, really important that everyone stands their ground and, and um, joins together in love and unity, not um, anger and hostility. And I, they just said, yeah, easier said than done. And we know it's easier said than done, but that's the message. So it's time to step out of your comfort zone. So a lot of people are sort of sitting back and expecting everyone else to fight the war, so to speak. At the end of the day, it's time for you to step out of your comfort zone, step out of your comfort because, you know, we've all practiced a, 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 um, a same sort of lifestyle as individuals for so long. Now is the time to rise up. Whether this is you on a personal level, this is about you taking control back of your life and stepping out of your comfort zone and trying something new. This can go for the mass conscious as well. It's time to step out of your comfort zone, um, release the fear, because they just told me the word fear, fear mongering, fear mongering. <laughs> so it's time to step out of that fear mongering energy. Yep, definitely, because confidence is going to be your key to success. So the only way that you can build confidence is your, in your life is to step out of your comfort zone and do something that you haven't done before. Try something new. I think that's what this whole shit is all about, regardless of, um, you know, the polit political side of it all. It's a, it's, a, it's a new world order, but it's for a positive. It's definitely for a positive. We need to find new ways of doing things. Wouldn't it be lovely if we went back to the, uh, I don't know, I grew up in the 70s, I was born in 75, so I was in the 70s and 80s where, you know, people were actually all outside doing stuff, not relying on technology, all that sort of stuff. I think there's somewhat of that kind of dynamic and lifestyle coming back into play. We are very close to achieving our goal. Like I say, we've just got to hang in there, keep praying, keep the faith, stand together, stand united. Try not to get together with other people and talk about the problem, so to speak. It's about the mass conscious um, collective getting together and focusing on the solution. You can't have, what they say, you just can't have it both ways, so to speak. So you need to make a personal choice for yourself. Be confident enough to stand in your truth. You may have to step out of your comfort zone and do something that you haven't done before, but what's guaranteed is that you and your loved ones are safe and a win-win outcome is forecast. Um, at the moment, the fiery climax is approaching, so don't worry. We have luck is on our side. So our main goal at the moment as Mass Conscious Collective is to feel as best as you can in any given moment. I understand the pressures. I'm going through them myself and all that sort of stuff, but I, I'm always so grateful and... and um, appreciative that I have my faith and I know that spirit have our back and that there's a bigger picture to this and we need to stand together we need to stand united it's it's all about people building their confidence and not feel like we are governed or ruled by anything we are free we are as free as we allow ourselves to be sure they can make things really tough but like I say there's a 101 ways to skin a cat and you need to find that way that's going to be um, conducive to you and your own family just uh, do they just keep saying do something new you have to do something new <laughs> how amazing is this the answers you need are coming so like i say we are in this fiery climax as we speak what i love about it is that by june i feel like the answers that we need are going to unfold they're gonna the bull heads are going to unlock in some way a win-win outcome is forecast so long as everyone steps out of their comfort zone and and focuses more on the solution rather than the problem Conf it's going to build your confidence you're going to feel more confident who doesn't want to feel more confident you're very close to achieving your goal luck is on your side and the answers you need are coming so how fabulous is that oh we've got to get one more got to get one more for that <clears throat> there seems to be a lot of twin Twin energy in this for me. Twin. Two sides. Two sides. And I'm not just saying like two sides, like two sides of the story. This is two sides of self. 
So I think if you really do live a 3D reality, this probably won't even penetrate you because you're gonna follow the masses anyway. But um, within yourself, I feel like a lot of you are gonna face that shadow part of yourself that, and you're gonna rise up into your power and just say no more of this bullshit. You don't govern me. No, um, I stand for freedom, yada, yada, yada. Okay, and, and we also got your dreams need a practical plan. So like I say, this may be a time for the majority and we've been sort of harping on this all year that you may have to plan to do something different. Instead of, um, it is what it is, so to speak, you need to look at your life and say, look, it is what it is right now. I can't change what I did 10 minutes ago, 10 days ago, 10 hours ago, but I, I, I've got now and I can plan something different from this moment forth and that's what Spirit are guiding you to do. That doing so and stepping out of your comfort zone, it's going to bring you success. It's going to make you feel more confident. The luck is its very serendipitous. The luck is on your side. The answers you need are coming. You're very close to achieving your goal. A win-win outcome is forecast. How cool is that? We just need to hold on to our hats for a little bit more. Um, stand in our truth and our power. Uh, whether you're doing it in a massive format or whether you're just doing it in the privacy of your own home, it's all important because we need to raise the consciousness and the vibration of this of this planet, so to speak. Hang in there. Let's get into some wis wisdom. So oh, I love those cards. That made me feel so warm and fuzzy. A lot of green, a lot of uh, blues. So blue represents emotion to me. Green represents healing and the purple represents intuition. So, um, Every time, that, every time there's gonna be a win or something happening, they always sing that song, victory, victory. Something in blinds. It used to be a TV ad. <laughs> so they're, they're playing that right now. All right, they wanted to jump over. Oh, come to the edge. Like I say, if you don't stand up for something in your life, you will fall for anything. You can do it on a personal level by saying, I choose to shut off the media. I choose to not listen to what's going on in the world around me. I'm just going to go about my day in the best possible feeling space that I can. But you are going to come to the edge. For February, March is very significant with whatever this is. We are really close. Maybe that's when this fiery climax does approach. I think we're building up to that. We all know it. Just have a look around you, so to speak. But please know that if you're administering any change and you're creating a plan and you're choosing to be more confident and you're going to step out of your comfort zone, not only is all this juicy stuff going to happen for you, it's going to go the distance as well. So this is long-term this is long-term gain. This is long-term opportunity. You can tell by what there's a leopard. Um, you can tell by the leopard here. He hasn't quite reached the um, the finishing post yet, but he's he's definitely taking a big stride to get there. So, if you are setting out your old, own goals and intentions, and maybe having to learn new ways of doing things, please know that if you put the time and energy into it now, it's going to go the distance for you. This is long-term change. There is no quick fix, I just said. There is no quick fix to this. So don't think that you can just wake up one day and everything's going to be different. We all need to be different. We all need to do different in our own lives. But whatever this is, it's going the distance. What a lineup. What a lineup. Whoa, yeah, look, there's no place like home. You may not be able to fix what's happening out in the world right now, but you can cer certainly um raise the vibration and and lift the momentum that's happening in your home some of you may be moving home with this um card some of you may be renovating some of you may be we'll get into the tarot shortly and see what that is specifically but please know that all change starts within the home so if there's anything in your home that needs attention or you need to cr create a better plan for your family and your family life that may be on the cards that you may need to do please know that your family are very blessed they're sitting there going like that blessed Bless. So maybe some of you may need to bless your home, um, give it a good sage, give it a good cleanse, shift some of the energy in your home, turn the TV off, get into those board games, do, do more high vibe things within your home. Yep, to be fair, so there is going to be some fairness that comes to this situation. Like I say, we've got the, the balancing of the scales here again. So if you check out my YouTube video from last week, it was saying about the if you... Create that balance first and foremost within yourself and um, give from the overflow of that into your community and, and into your family and all that sort of stuff. There is balance coming. So there's some fairness that's going to come to this situation. We just need to hold on. Oh, I can feel it. I can feel it. I can feel it. Like I can feel a lot of people with the pressure across their chest and their backs and all that. And it's, it's, it's um, lifting from me. 
So, you know, that still causes discomfort sometimes because um, you've been holding on to that stress for so long. So there is some fairness coming. Whatever we're planning to achieve for ourselves as individuals and as a mass conscious, it's going to go the distance. This is a long-term change. We need to step out of our comfort zones and, and really build some confidence, get our confidence up and to know that we are important and that we do have a voice. Whether you just do that in your own home sector or whether you, you, you go out into the community and display that, it's, it's totally up to you. It doesn't really matter because at the end of the day, if, if everyone in their home life become more enriched and loved and enjoyed and appreciated and all that sort of stuff, there, there, there will be a domino effect to that. We're very close to achieving our goal because luck is on our side and the answers we need are coming. Whatever this is, it's fated and it's destined. The stars are lining up for us, I'm telling you. I feel really patronizing being so happy in this moment, but at the end of the day, I'm an energy reader. They're tapping me into the energy. There's something that was March and April with this card, March or April, so maybe the shit's gonna go down in February, March, and then, um, you know, some, some sort of fairness or some sort of, I don't know, I don't even know what the word for it. Something's gonna come in, so to speak. It's gonna line the rest of these stars up, but whatever this is, it's fated, it's destiny. So. Your fate and your destiny is what you created to be for yourself. You will either go down with the ship or you will rise up into the power of this all. Um, like I say, step out of your comfort zone and do something you've never done before because the confidence is going to lead to your success. We do definitely step into the love of things with the yin energy here. We're, it's about stepping into the love of all things. You know, you may want to spend a day or spend 10 minutes each morning just going out and loving Mother Nature. Give her thanks for the... For the um, for the joy and the beauty that, that that she brings each day. This is about you getting in touch with your own feminine side as well. Soften soften the emotions up a little bit, especially with the answers you need are coming. I feel a lot of blue, a lot of emotion with that card. So it is about you taking the time and choosing for yourself to soothe your emotion and all this. You can only do what you can only do. You need to keep your eye on your own prize. Um, you need to be part of the solution, not part of... Um, well, they even said QR. There's, there's going to be no QR because this is long-term change. So it's about stepping in your own power, um, leading by example, becoming the best possible version of yourself. Understand that you are as free as a bird to do what you want. There are demonstrations of that happening at the moment. So we just need to hang in there while that, this, that sort of energy um, gains a little bit more ma momentum to match, you know, the hell they're trying to... Uh, proceed. If you are an activist, they're sort of telling me something different here, but if you are an activist, please make sure that you are doing it from a space of love and connection and, and, and a yearning to do the right thing rather than feeding the fear of people. Like, because I, I, I don't even see that in my physical self a lot. Like, they're, like their intentions are beautiful. Their intentions are great and stuff, but they're still scaring people on one one side or other of the fence so it's it's really important that you look after your own mental physical emotional health your holistic self so to speak during this time and if you are an activist just remember that it's got to come from a place of love not from a fear of fear or desperation a place of fear of desperation within yourself either i know everyone's desperate absolutely desperate to come get this to a, to an end but it's going to come it's going to happen naturally it's it's part of this evolving it's part of this ascension we can't speed this up we just need to go with the flow and the only way we can do that is to be the best possible version of self that we can be um we've got milk and honey so this can go two ways for people it depends on what side of the fence that you're on i am obviously uh very proactive i am very pro-choice i'm pro 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 so i live that i live my truth i stand in my power I will not allow anyone to sway me in a different way. If they try to, I'll find an alternative, which is best for me and my family. That's sort of what they're asking you to do. You cannot help those or um, influence those who have a one-track mind and they're going to go a different way. There's nothing you can do about it. So it's, it's, it's really time to stop looking at, at the ones who are pushing for what we don't want and start coming back to self and being amongst those who are, you know really just in the love of the human race so to speak so this this outcome is going to go two ways and obviously i was asked by spirit by my american indian elder to spread um not only spread joy and all that sort of stuff but to give more positive positive um 
outcomes and predictions and all that because we only see what's best for all of you as individuals and what's for your highest good and what's for our highest good as a collective. So you will have other readers that tap into the other side of things. That's not what I do. If you are into somebody who's sort of um, still infusing fear, I don't, under I don't understand that. But um, I, I would, without telling you what to do, Spirit are guiding you to sort of detour around that and find more um, positive and light and encouraging and nurturing and relieving and soothing kind of people in your life, whether it's a reader or whether it's um, anything that you watch on social media, yada, yada, yada. So we do have the Chaos and Conflict card that jumped out. So like I say, we are in the midst of this Chaos and Conflict right now. Oh, no, it's not. No, this is a change in the wind. Well, I'm going to say it anyway, because that's how I saw it. That's how it came out. Uh, please know that there is a change in the wind. We are in the chaos and conflict of it all right now. A fiery climax is approaching, most definitely. There is a bucking of the bulls right now, and the, and the horns are locked. But I feel like there's too much good energy here. If you step into the love and light and, and just... Trust the process a little bit and really focus on stepping out of your own comfort zone and understand that the answers you need are coming because luck is on our side um, and you create some sort of plan for yourself regardless of how this all goes. There's, there's success at, at it, but it's got to come through love. Love and um, yeah, loving awareness. We are in between worlds. Like I say, we're coming out of this shithole into a new light. This canvas is how it's going to be, you know, um, consider the analogy you paint the canvas of your life this this canvas if you want to stay here by all means you do so if you want to stay in the fear and the um and the worry and the concern i mean there's not a lot that anyone can do to get you out of that it's personal choice you have free will do what you wish with it but um a lot of us are stepping into this new world it's coming between march and june march and june they keep saying march and june there's a significant change. There's some fairness coming. Whatever this change is, it's going to be fated. It's going to be destined. So you're wasting your time and energy right now getting into the anger and the resentment and the commotion of what this shit show is. I'm, I'm telling you now, do yourself a favor. Focus on your own health. I mean, stress is going to be the biggest killer for everybody anyway. Um, look after your... Just do what you can. Look after yourself. Follow the protocols, follow it all right now because I feel like it's unfolding. I feel like I just fell down a, a bunch of steps. It's unfolding anyway. I'll get one more of these. I might go a little bit over on this one, I think. But um, yeah, if it's not for you, it's not for you. Stand in your power, build a bridge, get over it, move on, find a solution. If you do, here's this little fortune cookie here. Things are gonna go in your favor. If, like I say, stop beating the, oh, how do I say this? Stop beating the drum of those things that you don't want. It's time to dance in the in the in the beat of the things that you do want. So if you if you are focused on, well, I don't want it, I don't want it, yada yada yada, you're feeding that energy. You're manifesting more of what you don't want into your life. You want to step into your power. You want to step into the love and just say, I love myself enough to to say no and to reshift my focus and do something else, focus on something else. Like I say, read positive um, sources of material, watch positive movies, hang around positive people. Anyone who's just out there living their life, just doing what they do anyway, and sort of not fitting into this conundrum, um, that would be very beneficial. But this is like a game of chess at the moment. There's a lot of to and fro. It is the light versus the dark. Um, it's, I feel like I'm watching a game of ping pong right now. It's like over here, over here, over here, over here. Stop that, come back to self. Be the love. Be the change you wish to see. Stand in your power. It will give you confidence. Focus on the solution, not the problem. Yeah, and um, they just made me look at that. And, and on this fortune cookie, I've never actually seen it before. It says, nope. So I don't know whether you see that. It says, nope. So it's about you. Um, it's about the mass conscious standing up and saying, nope. Nope, no, nope. And if you do that and you stand in your power and get out of your comfort zone and, and say no, just say no, so to speak, it will in, increase your confidence and then you'll get your little fortune at the end of it. You'll get the fortunes will come. It's fated. It's fair. A change is in the wind. We're very close to achieving our goal. Luck is on your side. The answers you need are coming. That You may need a practical plan for yourself. A win-win outcome is forecast because you and your loved ones are safe. 
What a beautiful message. I'll get into some tarots. Oh, that one want to jump out. Yeah, here we go. Here's a shift. The page is an early, very early um, transition. Got one standing over there that I didn't see. Um, you need to find, you need to tap into self and find, uh, um, and find what emotionally brings you balance, what emotionally brings you clarity. You really need to get towards the water, cleanse yourself in the shower. The best way to do that is to sit there and if you have a faith and a belief in um, in spirit, you know, from the from the crown of your head all the way around, cover yourself in a big divine gold, gold light. Your aura is basically from your arms up and, and down. Make sure that you ask spirit or um, you can ask Arch Arch Archangel Raphael to give you cleansing in that area. Put this big protective barrier around you make sure that you get under your feet as well ask the universe to take away any negative energy that you may be holding on to and send it down the drain um, in loving intention with the water and it can go back out to the universe to be transmuted so i would really guide some of you to do that if not i would infuse some water drink better quality water probably more alkaline water so the nine to ten percent or whatever um, if you could get to the beach or get to the water in some degree, I would do that because the more you soothe yourself, this new chapter is happening anyway. No, we have snow butts. Like I say, it's it's fated. It's destined. This one was stuck to the table. Absolutely. Eight of cups here. You need to follow your intuition and walk away from what no longer serves you. The more you stop looking at this BS and this concern and this worry, they just told me that a lot of people are worried that if they don't watch it, they're gonna miss out on something or something's gonna to happen to them and they're not aware of it or something. It's not, it's that, It's kind of like more so with the law of attraction that the more you focus on it, the more it gives it energy, the more it summons it into your own experience. And we want you to stop that. So look at all those cups, the other cups, they're all standing. You have the power and the strength to do this. You just need the confidence and the confidence is gonna come when you create a, a, a newer version of a plan for yourself and you step out of your comfort zone. So step out of your comfort zone and, so, and, and basically just say, in a nutshell, that does not feel congruent to me, that does not add value to my life, that does not feel good to me, um, yada, 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 I'm choosing to step away, I'm gonna follow my intuition, and I'm gonna go into that soul-led, solution-based energy from now on. Because a lot of people are flogging a dead horse right now. It needs to unfold how it's going to unfold. Oh, they want to jump out. Justice is coming. Like I say, justice is coming. There is going to be, oh, I'm not even going to say an end to it because I feel like it's an unfolding. It's a new way of being and this may take many years to come, so to speak. But to be fair, we've got to be fair and justice. It's coming. At the end of the day, life is sometimes very black and white. Um... It either feels good to you or it doesn't feel good to you. It's either fair or it's not fair. If you want fairness, you need to focus on the fairness of it. Um, but justice is definitely coming. This is a balancing of the scales. Here's the scale here again. Um, you need to raise your sword. You need to stand in your power and say no. Nope. Nope. Not happening. At the moment, like I say, we are in between worlds because the fiery climax is approaching. And they told me chaos and conflict with this change in the wind. So there is a change that's coming. No ifs, no buts. I've got a feeling it may kick off around February, March. By June, you'll understand what the fuck I've been talking about all this time. Or not I, spirit. <clears throat> so at the end of the day, you're either focused on um, the justice of everything or you're going to stay in this self-imposed prison. This is a self-imposed prison. Um, this is a state of lack. This is a state of victimhood. This is a state of being trapped by one's own thoughts and beliefs about you know, who they are and what they can do in this life. You can be, do, have whatever you set your mind to. So there's the two, two different energies that I'm reading for. At the end of the day, if you are in this self-imposed prison and you have no intention to make a plan, do anything else for your life, create a balance, get into the love and the sanctuary of it all and step out of your comfort zone so you can be a bit more confident, then there's not a lot that spirit or I can do because you have free will. But for those who do, keep going. Keep going because it's going to pay off. Look at that. There's going to be some little financial windfalls. I think this has been coming up on my Facebook page and the daily posts as well. Some sort of uh, financial windfall. Some of you may need to work out new ways to um, receive money. 
And remember that the universe is abundant. Only us as individuals pinch ourselves off from this abundance. So there's a there's, there's so many ways that you can create abundance in your life. There's some, they just told me something about a barter system. Maybe, you know, a lot of us need to step out of that belief or that energy that we need money to buy things, you know. We may get into some sort of a barter system where it's like, well, if you mow my lawn, I'll clean your kitchen or um, I'll have some of your veggies and I'll, I'll give you some of my cow. I don't know, something of that nature. But there's like a bartering. So, you know, you may exchange a surge, exchange of services exchange of energy that's what they they just said so what i love about this is it's very intuitive to me it's it's very uh, the love in it it's like unless you are someone who is truly connected to source and feels their love and and trust and believes in them and all that like i do every day like i've been through so much trauma in my, my own life a lot of people say it's a wonder you haven't knocked yourself off yet because um you know, it was, it, it's been traumatic, but because I believe in source and, and the creation of good things and they, they work with me every day and, and they only want what's best for us and it's about staying as high vibe and in, if in, in, in the different 5D, 7Ds. I had a guy tell me last um, at a fruit shop once that I'm stepping into 7D, so I don't know what the fuck that's about. But anyway, um, the more higher you keep your vibration, um, um, the more this change is going to come in for you. Look at that. And we've got the Page of Pentacles. So this is a shift in money sector as well. We do have two page cards. So we've got the Page of Cups, which to me represents emotion. And we've got the Page of Pentacles, which represents a different way of earning money. So like I say, we may start off initially uh, between now and maybe March or whatever, just basically doing bartering services. You know, you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Just to get us through this change that's coming, just to get us through this fiery... Climax, like I say, that's very solution-based energy. Um, there may be no actual currency in it, so to speak, but that's how we're going to get a new a new momentum going in certain things. We do have the lovers card, so uh, they, they, with this card, they told me some of you may have thirty third-party interference in your home. So if that's the case, we go back to the no place like home card. You need to sort of sort that out energetically for yourself. So it's about eliminating any sort of third party interference. If you are in a relationship, unfortunately, you may be in a third party kind of um, situation. If you are or you're the third party, take care of that business because that's sort of energetic juju you don't really want. But if not, um, if you step into the love and light and lust of all things, so to speak, please know that you are going to be supported by your loved ones around you and by spirit. So that was quite interesting. So I'll just quickly get into the oracles. So I hope that made sense to you all. Please know that whatever's coming up is naturally unfolding. We may have to include a little bit of bartering services um, in between now and this change. Whatever this is, it's faded, it's destined. Luck is on our side. Yes, we need a practical plan. I've been saying that for months. The answer is we need a coming. Step out of your comfort zone because confidence is going to be the key to your success. You're very close to achieving your goal. A win-win outcome is forecast. Yes, a fiery climax is approaching, but you can be as combative in that or um, as not as you wish. And, and you need to know that you and your loved ones are safe. We're going to have to come to the edge soon. We're going to make choices for ourselves. And please know that if we do it, that's in alignment with us and our best possible versions of ourselves. It's going to go the distance. There's some fairness coming. We need to balance out the masculine and feminine energies right now. Um, that's part of this um, between world thing. But with two page cards, the pages, it's just, it's just beginning. It's just beginning. Yes. So the first card in the oracles, we've got mother healing. So they, they, as soon as I turn that over, um, they just told me mother earth. So a lot of you should, I uh, should, I'll just tell you what to do. Um, a lot of you are being guided to get back in touch with mother earth and get back in touch with mother nature i would connect with um, fellow shamans if i was in your shoes just to get yourself grounded and and back to back to source through um grounding but it's but the actual card meaning says as your feelings toward your mother heal your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately so if you do have mother issues that could be part of this no place like home this could be how you feel as a mother as well please understand that spirit no you're doing the best you can you're doing the best you can. Nothing's going right. Everything's going wrong. Wait. Wait. Like I say, it's not a big time for physical action. It's about adjusting our energies. That's our thoughts, emotions, um, anything in the home front. It's about creating stability in our own home. Don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. So like I say, this is an unfolding. This is something that will just stop, that we can just 
stand up, do something, stop and whatever. You know, because they're telling me revolt, revolt. There's going to be a revolt, an upsurging. And I feel like this is an upsurge of love. There you go. That's <laughs> the yin, yin card. Um, it's going to be an upsurging of love. Self-love first. Um, mass conscious love second. Yep, here we go. Rest. So we've got wait and rest. Wait and rest regroup, regather, recalibrate. You cannot manifest efficiently from a stressed, troubled, scared, fearful place. Impossible. You're going to manifest more of the same. It's time to take a rest. It's time to wait a little bit. Like I say, you may have to get into some sort of barter exchange with people to get what you need in the interim, so to speak. But please know there is healing there. You've got to remember your worth. You know, you are worth more than anything in this world. Anything, um, your family are worth more than, um, I, don't, I don't know how to say this. You know, a lot of people are focused on what they can't do. They can't, you know, they can't travel and they can't go on these holidays and they can't, you know, do all this sort of stuff. There's heaps of things that you can still do. Um, but that's what's bringing the energy down in the family, in the family unit. So like I say, you can play a board game. You can make some, um, get outside and, bake some marshmallows, you can watch a family movie, you can create a family movie, you can, there are so many different things that you can do in this, in this window that doesn't feed the energy of this bullshit shit show that's going on right now. So remember your worth, know that you deserve to receive good in all ways. And here we go, ready, set, go. So like I say, I think we're in the set energy. I, I think over the last couple of years, people have been getting ready for something. Um, that something is what are going to be what you believe in, so to, so to speak. We are getting set. So when we get set, we create a plan. We get a little bit more selfish and we look at our immediate environment and our external environment and only sit in um, um, energies that make us feel good as individuals. Give me something else here. Um, it's about building your confidence. So a lot of you may be stepping out of this self-imposed prison. So get amongst community groups. Get amongst communi community groups if this is you. But if you're an active and deliberate creator, which I hope that you are, if you follow me, it's time to set a plan. Um, focus on your solutions. Focus on ways that you can do things. Not all is lost right now because in the next three to six months, it's going to be go, go, go. And you want to be prepared for that. You, you want to have the biggest party. I think our new year... New Year's celebrations are going to happen probably in the first half of next year to some degree, to some degree. So I hope that's helped you, my loves. I know it's helped me a lot. That's, that's given a little bit more clarity on things that we can actually focus on and work on and, and to honour um, our true worth. Um, I will be back next Tuesday, I'm assuming, just after Christmas. So I hope you all do have a wonderful Christmas and that you get sport rotten. Um... If you would like to kindly donate and exchange the energy so I can keep this channel going next year, please feel free to do so. The link will be down below. If you want to get in for a one-on-one -on -one reading so we can help you articulate and focus on more positive things leading into 2022, my website will be down below. Um, for my Patreons, my Patreon link will be down below. I hope you're enjoying. We're only on day two of the um, Law of Attraction mini course, so to speak. I'm just giving everyone a bit of a refresher on what the Law of Attraction actually is and how it, how it um, is in your life. I will be posting the star signs in there and probably the 2022 prediction in the Patreon channel. So please know that I love you all so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of your week. Thank you so much for all your support and I will see you next Tuesday. Bye.